All right, for this segment on that 6.0 roots build, I'm going to work on getting my burst panel installed. I'd like to put it in there somewhere, or maybe even up that high. I'd probably try and go down here. Uh, i got to leave room for a plate around it. And I'm going to cut this out first and then figure out how big I need to make uh, the adapter for this to weld on and uh, go from there. Got this thing checked up in the mill here. And uh, luckily I had a really long bit, otherwise I would not be able to do this. It's still going to be really tight, but i got a roughed area out here that I want to cut out. I'm going to start cutting, see how close I can get to where I need to be. Making some decent headway here. I uh, got me a little hole cut. I can't go any further down this far back because I will hit this part against the mill. Even if I bring the quill down, there's still a big hunk that comes down from up here. It's way bigger than this. <clears throat> so I will get as much as I can here and then I'll flip it over and finish cutting that out from the top side. So I think that'll work alright. As long as I can get everything down in here cut where I want, I can flip it over and finish the corners of it up on top. Alright, I got this machined out as far as I can on the back side here. I'm going to flip it over, try and finish this little corner out up here. That's all I got left and then I can start working on that block. Alright, I got the top side basically done. I'm just going to clean this up here a little bit. And then uh, make my block. I'm going to have to do a little bit of hand work on it over here. Or I couldn't quite get the mill in it all the way. So it shouldn't be no big deal. But uh, get that cleaned up a little more and start working on that block. She's all cleaned up down in there. Got all my sides cleaned up. Got my burst panel opening big enough. There's where my burst panel will sit right back in there. So now I need to make up a plate that can be welded in there. And it'll be ready to go. I also got to drill the holes for all that. So I'm going to stop there for the night. I got all my holes drilled. And my got a little bit of a countersink going in there too. That'll have to tap all these holes. These holes aren't tapped. What I'll do is I'll tap all these holes next. Then I'll cut this out a quarter inch down. And that'll give me my plate here that will go in front of this to pinch this in place. So this uh, will end up being, got all the holes drilled for it. Like that. But this will be uh, sandwiched in between. You'll see here when I do it. But I'm, it's getting kind of late tonight, so I'll try and get some more of this done tomorrow. All right, I got my uh, burst panel, the outer plate that will hold the burst panel in place. I got it uh, machined off in this block. What I'm hoping to do is run the bandsaw right against this uh, wall here. I kind of made a fence. It's a little over a quarter inch thick. So I can kind of use it as a guide to run the bandsaw down. And then also that's the same thing, it's quarter inch uh, down. So the bandsaw blade should be able to follow that right along. And uh, keep this somewhat straight, then I'll mill the back of it off flat. Mill the top of that off flat, and then I'll have my piece that uh, welds to the intake. I'll have to do some finished machine work on it, but it's coming along, taking a long time, but it's getting there. Alright, here's what I'm planning to do. I got it set up here to help it make better sense to you. So I'll just be able to slice that right down there. Keep this piece and just use that as a fence basically. And that will also be my, my block. So I'm going to cut that off now. Alright, I got that cut off. So this will be the plate that goes over the top of this. So if that's right onto the intake, that'll sit in there. And this will hold it in position. So now i just got to machine the back of that off. On the top of that off, top of this off flush again. I got that piece machined down. So this piece will sit so they're both flush. And this will just bolt right on there. Just go on down. My burst panel will go in between it. My burst panel goes there and then that will fit right over the top of it like so. I got my piece cut out that's going to get welded in the intake. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to have my bolts go up through like I thought I was. So what I'll end up doing is tapping this hole to a 5 16 and then recessing it in the top plate. Uh, so it'll just go down the plate. You won't even notice it, but come out pretty good. It fits in there real nice. And then i got to cut all this inside out for air to get through, so that's my next step. Here is the piece that I got finished that will weld in the intake. i got to do a little more beveling on it. Uh, for one, to help uh, weld penetrate better. Two, I'm going to open up a hair bit here to give a little more uh, area for the air to get through. I don't know if that's enough. It's more than I've seen some of them have, so it probably is plenty. Uh, so that'll fit right in there. And uh, 
right in there like that so they can weld down along there and up across here as well as all along the outside of this so should came out real good and see there you can get some weld around there too as well so that's my next step get it beveled and I'll tack it in and then I will have another guy do the final welding because I'm not good enough to weld this yet all right there she is I uh, got it tacked on there gonna go to the weld shop tomorrow once again need to buy some uh, shorter bolts I need to buy a lot of bolts everything's held in with the wrong bolts that I have so uh, order all the bolts here and uh, right there you can see I went ahead and beveled the back side of that so we can get a good weld along that and then I dropped that down a little bit so he could get a weld in that lip there so it should get real good penetration on that and uh, I'll weld up around there uh, also slightly veed that out a little bit so I can get a little weld in there not gonna be able to put too big a weld because this needs to be able to sit flush in there and I don't want that warped so hopefully next week we'll have this thing be able to show you what this thing looks like all welded up all right guys that is going to do it for this week's uh, update on the six liter uh, roots build uh, this thing took way longer than it should have or than I thought it was at least I thought the fuel rails would take longer but this thing here I probably got 10 hours in this thing I've been giving this old mill here a workout worth every penny I paid for it <laughs> the way all these projects have been going uh, so I'll get some better bolts in there I'll get this thing welded up and when I get it back I'll uh, show you what it looks like it'll look the same and just be nice and welded up come out really really nice it looks professional uh, looks like a blower intake now I think I got enough air in there or enough uh, gap in there that when a backfire happens it'll blow that panel out instead of the blower off I hope so uh, uh, next week I'm very doubtful of getting any updates on this because I ordered a idler pulley for the blower belt two weeks ago and it shipped out today. I like to do the bulk of my uh, machine work for this project on uh, late Saturday and Sunday afternoon, Sunday night. Uh, don't think I'm going to be able to get my part in in time and get everything figured up so I'll probably put up a Studebaker video but I don't think this thing's on the back burner or nothing. Also I thought I found a Nova it looked great in the pictures, and the guy said it was great shape, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the guy he bought it from included floor pans with it. And he said he didn't know why the guy put the included the floor pans with the car, because there's nothing wrong with the floor pans. So I said, well, go ahead and send me some pictures. I got a shipping company contact. I got a quote on it. Uh, had no engine or training, so it wasn't drivable. And uh, he sent me pictures of the car, and you can see the, fl the ground through the floorboard. And the trunk didn't look like it was any better. So uh, that was a big no-go. The guy never even responded back to me when I said, you know, I can see the ground through the floorboards. What are you talking about? But uh, anyways, I'm looking hot and heavy for one. If anybody has one, uh, send me a link and a message or something. I've looked at every Craigslist ad, so don't worry about checking those. I've checked them every day, multiple times a day. But uh, anyways, uh, appreciate you guys for uh, watching and hitting the subscribe button. I'm up to a thousand, over a thousand subscribers now, so I'm uh, able to monetize my videos again. Sorry about the the ads in it, but uh, a few seconds of ads won't hurt you for uh, giving me a few bucks a month for this. It's nothing big, but uh, every little bit helps. Uh, but anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and as always, please like and subscribe.